This is Tea or Coffee, where random individuals sit on a couch and tell a story completely of their own choosing. Oh, okay, that's true. I think just get like a few different... Yeah, that's good. We've done this to show the colors of life and prove that the mundane does not exist. I chose sleep over sex. Unintentionally, but it happened. <laughs> so I met this girl and she's been my best friend for 24 years. We're completely different and she likes to get me into trouble sometimes. Do you do that, Sarah? Yeah. Especially yeah. with me, I love to get her in trouble. We were like out in Sofia back home. We went for a night out at this club. I had just done an STD panel. Just try to be healthy. Did anything come up? No? Uh, All good? Actually, yeah, I have here and I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Same night, uh, Sarah decides that um, I need a bit more fun and spice in my life and I need to get like a new, <laughs> a new guy in my life. She knows the type I like, so she spots this like tall guy, fairly, fairly good looking, like looks, looks nice, doesn't look like a psychopath. Most people's type is awesome, <laughs> like so we start chatting, we, you know, we, we seem to get along, he was actually fairly fairly like nice started making out at one point i was like okay this might actually not have been such a bad idea after all we're getting quite drunk so i decide very uncharacteristically of me to take him home after i've just met him we get into a cab getting off uh, in front of my house going up the stairs starting to feel very cozy in my in my room and then i'm just like i should be smart i just had that like pristine result from my checkup i'm not gonna do anything silly we need to like use a condom and he's like oh shit i pff, yeah i don't really have one if you're keen you're gonna have to kind of think of something <laughs> he's um he's like okay i found a uh pharmacy which will be open 24 7 so i'm just gonna walk over there and come back and it's like a 10 12 minute walk one way <laughs> dude is really dedicated i'm just like okay he's he's really a nice guy he's like committed to this i i see him off and like up down to the to the front door i lock up behind him i go back to my room because i'm like i might as well you know just chill out in my bed wait for a while it's gonna take a little while and, uh, and i'm just like scrolling on my phone on instagram as you do and next thing i know i uh, am still looking at my phone and I realized it's three hours later. I was like, shit, it's all coming back to me. And I'd fallen asleep on my phone. I see, I don't know, 23 missed calls. <laughs> <laughs> and I see uh, a bunch of messages like, I've been here for 15 minutes. I've been here for 30 minutes. Like, what are you doing? I've been ringing you. This is ridiculous. This is the, uh, the most pathetic thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> and at this point, I'm shocked and almost like want to shed a tear because the guy was really sweet. And I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I texted him back immediately. I was like, I am honestly so sorry. I cannot explain to you how sorry I am. This was not my intention at all. What and he, month is this? Oh yeah, uh, he didn't. He didn't freeze his ass off. Like he could have left, but he was just like such a nice guy. How he got home? Like, was it in the middle of nowhere? Like, it, it is in the middle of nowhere. He he probably had to walk a fair bit back to like get a taxi if he's like if he did it. And in the end, he believed me, and he was like, um, "Listen, what well, I actually quite enjoyed last night. We should do this again." I was like, well, well, "Do you know which part?" <laughs> For a short while, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Could have been worse. <laughs> that's a great story. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.